What's up guys? So today I'm definitely going to be doing a video that is quite different from what I usually post. So much knowledge for you guys and pretty much the most valuable video I've ever posted and I will ever post on this channel like ever. I'm going to be sharing my step-by-step -step process on how I help my client Kathy go from skinny fat to lean tone, drop 10 plus pounds of fat within 70 days and most importantly learn to maintain her new dream body so she's basically done with you know yo-yo dieting and gaining the weight back none of that right before her wedding and trip to europe so this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide on how i helped her but you can 100 apply this knowledge apply this process to your life and see amazing results i know it's going to help you and not only will it help you completely transform your body it will have ripple effect on other areas of your life so take some notes come back to this video if you have to just really pay attention because because I'm about to drop so much knowledge on you guys and let's just get right into it. All right, so let's get straight into how Kathy went from skinny fat to lean and tone, dropped 10 plus pounds of fat sustainably within 70 days. I really want to stress on the fact that she lost fat because when you're skinny fat, you don't want to lose too quickly because you are at risk of losing muscle mass, of losing just water weight and food weight and overall just not fat, which we don't want. So that's why I don't recommend trying to lose more than 1 to 1.5 pounds of fat every week. And she was at 1, amazing, perfect. This is, you know, what she should have gone for. And if you are skinny fat, this is definitely what you should do. Also, quick mention to the fact that on the right, this is my own cut because I'm obviously showing you guys what I've done, not just what I have learned. So, you know, I also went from kind of gained some weight during my past relationship point to actually leaner. So let's get right into it. Here you have actually Kathy's um, weight changes. So as you can see, she had two major drops. And then you can see when we actually decided to go for maintenance, aka when she was feeling confident enough. And it was she actually hit her weight goal after. So at one for her weight goal was 115, which she actually hit later on when we went maintenance because she decided that she didn't really want to keep on losing weight beforehand she was at 116 and she was like you know what i'm happy i know my goal was 115 but i'm happy there uh, let's just stop trying to lose weight because i have to always touch up my wedding dress for example and while it was fun now i don't really want to change it anymore and with my method she ended up still losing some more fat so if you use this method, like my client Kathy did, like all my clients do, and like I did before, I can guarantee you that you can lose 10 plus pounds of fat within 70 days, okay? Without starving yourself, without skipping meals, without giving up on your favorite food and your favorite treat, without having to say no to you know, restaurants and going out with your friends and family, without killing yourself at the gym, trying to work out every single day for hours on end, and obviously without gaining the weight back, right after if not more because that's usually what happens you know you lose some weight then you gain more and then you try to lose it yeah so this training is for you if you're looking to lose 10 plus pounds that you will not gain back you know while building an hourglass figure gaining confidence and basically becoming the best version of yourself then this training is for you if you feel like you've tried everything to get the body that you want but you haven't been able to reach your goals then this training is for you. If you're tired of yo-yoing when it comes to the scale, what you look like, and you are in need for a simple, realistic, enjoyable blueprint that is also proven to work, then this is for you. And if you're sick of floating around the gym for hours looking for what should I do, not knowing what to do to get the body that you want, and you know, ending up doing cardio that you hate, and not even seeing the results, which is the worst part, you know, when you actually kill yourself at the gym and don't even see results, then this training is for you. And if you know that you have the potential and work ethic to become the best version of yourself, but you lack the guidance, the support and the accountability, then this is for you as well. So if it resonates with you, let me tell you that you are in the right place. I'm going to help you completely transform your life and your body with this training. However, I don't want to waste anyone's time. So I want to tell you that this training is not for you. 
if you're looking for a quick fix. If you're looking for a way to lose record amount of weight, not even fat, just weight, just want to see the, you know, scale drop and not actually see results in your body, you know, in an unreasonable amount of time. And you're not actually looking for a repeatable, sustainable system to lose the weight and keep it off. Then this training is not for you. And by the way, please just click away and skip this training if any of the following actually resonate with you because you're going to waste your time and I don't want that. This training is not for you if you secretly like to stay stuck and, you know, just give yourself excuses instead of actually doing the work because while this is sustainable and not supposed to be a second full-time job, this is still going to require work from you and, you know, actually showing up for your goals, right? So if you're not willing to do that, this is not going to be for you. If you're not willing to spend at least four to five hours working out every single week, not for you either. If you're not ready to control your food intake and you know stop eating junk food all the time, overeating all the time, that this is not for you because I am more than willing to you know allow you to have all the food that you love and not obsess over the food that you're forbidden. There's no real forbidden food here, and you know to not go out, this would be awful. But I just can't let you eat poorly all the time. So there is a balance, but this is still going to be work. And if you don't believe that you have the potential to become a better version. I, I can't help you. Okay. If it's, it's all minds game. So if you can't believe it yourself, there's just no way I'm going to be able to help you out. Right. Before we get started. Hi, my name is Florian. I'm a certified personal trainer and I used to be overweight. Um, <laughs> in this video, I'm going to show you how I lost 35 plus pounds within 180 days. And now also how Kathy using my method was ever able to transform her body go from skinny fat to lean and tone, drop 10 plus pounds of fat, you know, just following my process. I wanted to show you this before after because I know that some of you are going to be like, well, you just were lucky you have a good, like you you have good genetics. No, uh -uh. no, 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 this was work too. Okay, so I wanted to show you the results of me implementing my own method because I didn't lose fat the first try, okay? Uh, unfortunately, it took me years of yo-yo dieting, years of, you know, gaining more weight than I was losing, hating my body, feeling miserable, and hating the process, and just desperately trying to find out out there what worked, only to find out that nothing outside actually was working, and I just needed to create my own method, and I did, and so amazing results, like here, and like my clients, like you can see here, you know, by using my strategy, my clients are all losing fat, okay, without feeling miserable on the journey, without gaining the weight back, they're all going from skinny fat or overweight to lean and tone, okay, so whether you have a little weight, or if you have a little bit more weight to lose, this training has something for you, okay? My method works in both cases. As you can see on the right, we have Kathy who went from skinny fat to lean and tone. She looks absolutely fire now. Two, you also have this mom of three um, to the left who also dropped, I think it was 28 pounds while working with me. So, you know, why not you? Okay, so I also make sure to link Kathy's interview around here so you actually get to hear her talk about the experience of working with me and what she learned. And yeah, I just really wanted to also say that we didn't just lose the weight, okay? We didn't just lose fat. We also gained so much more definition. You can see on both sides, absolutely amazing. We gained some abs, more energy, and more confidence, okay? That's one of the biggest things. When I saw how it completely transformed her life, I just decided to share my entire strategy on how she got this results, you know, losing the fat easily, went it, going from, you know, skinny fat to her leanest, toneest, most confident self. And I'm using her own words here from the interview that I've linked a bit before that. Okay. So let me break it all down for you. The actual step-by-step -step detailed process. The truth about losing fat and, you know, leaning down, toning up that no one is telling you is that it is 100% possible to get your dream body and maintain it for life without having to starve yourself, without having to skip meals, avoiding going out, you know, with your loved ones, without giving up on your favorite food because I would be lost without cinnamon rolls. And, you know, without spending hours at the gym every day because I have other things to do. Kathy was planning a wedding, having a full-time job. She had other things to do, okay? And obviously, without the fear of gaining the weight back right after the program is over. We are all about sustainable and learning how to maintain your new dream body, okay? And here is the only reason why you're struggling. You ready? 
you are following what's popular. You're following quick fixes rather than looking for a sustainable system that, you know, simplifies the tiling process with tracking macros, which is way more efficient and actually sustainable because you won't find yourself obsessing over the food you're not allowed and binging on junk food later because you're just allowing yourself to have that balance within your life. Tracking macros is a life saving in that case. A sustainable system that optimizes your weekly, you know, workouts and exercise plan. A combination of strength training and cardio, doing the right exercise to lose the fat and, you know, actually building the physique that you want at the right intensity. Again, right exercises really want to actually press that issue instead of, you know, just getting stuck at the gym, not knowing what to do, trying a little bit of everything, not having a process or even following some random YouTube video or IG reels that just don't get you anywhere. And, you know, you don't see results doing something that is that generic. You need personalized plan here and a sustainable system that implements that, you know, you can implement within your lifestyle. Okay. It's not a cookie cutter program that you could get anywhere else. You actually need a process that is enjoyable, that works with your other obligations and, you know, doesn't add stress. Okay. That was the biggest thing. You don't want to add stress. So here's everything that you need to do and it's fitting with your lifestyle, not the other way around and you get to see results. So it's a win-win here. So don't worry. I am not going to let this happen to you. You know, you are not going to fall for the popular quick fix here. I'm going to give you the sustainable system that is proven to work. Okay. So some harsh truth. There is no such things as I don't have time or my metabolism is just slow or it's just my genetics, you know, or I've tried everything and nothing works. I get that. I used to say all of that, but that's just not true. And while we're at it, it is impossible to lose 10 pounds of fat in 10 days. Okay. You may find stuff that help on the internet, but the second you're back to your old lifestyle, boom, 50 pounds back, speaking from experience, okay? So we're not looking for a quick fix here. We're looking for something that actually works, fit with your lifestyle, gets you results without making you feel miserable, okay? You do not have to dedicate your entire life to fitness, to weight loss, to be fit. You do not have to have fitness be a second full-time job. And you do not have to have unique DNA to look and feel amazing. Okay? I showed you my transformation just to prove to you that I don't have amazing genetics. I'm coming from overweight. Okay. So if you want to be the person who loses the weight, keeps it off and has their dream physique, I'm going to show you how. I'm going to show you how to avoid the mistakes that everyone makes on their fat loss journey. I'm going to show you how Kathy managed to completely transform her body and go from skinny fat to lean and tone easily, sustainably, and for good. I'm going to show you how to lose 10 plus pounds of fat within the next 70 days or less and never gain it back, okay? And I'm going to show you how to get these amazing results without starving yourself, without cutting out all your favorite food and being obsessed with that food, without spending hours working out every single day, and without gaining the weight back, okay? I'm going to show you all of that just in the next slides. Stay tuned. It is a simple blueprint. It is a two-phase fat loss reverse dieting process, okay? First phase, 45 to 90 days, depending on how much fat you have to lose. So, you know, if you're closer to skinny fat, you still take a solid 60 days, 70 days to actually lose the fat and then go into reverse dieting. Um, and if you have a bit more weight, like I did, you may want to go through multiple um, cycle of these two phases. I don't think you want to go for more than 90 days of fat loss phase, just because your body isn't, you know, dumb. And at some point it'll realize, hold on, we're not eating more. I can probably lower my metabolism. So that's not what we want. It can adapt, you know, to you eating less food. So 90 days is usually a good like deadline for you to just do the whole fat loss phase and then reverse dieting. So now that we are done with the timeline, let's talk about phase one. It's basically about, yeah, you know, acclimating yourself and learning the basics and building the foundations, okay? So we are installing new healthy habits into your life and basically improving your life, okay? So we are doing, with Kathy, we did strength training and progressive overload. So basically lifting heavier every single week or as, as often as she could to increase your metabolism. And that's what helped her 
maintained her lean body mass. So she kept her glutes, you know, she kept all the parts she wanted to keep and basically was able to sculpt her dream body, hourglass figure and so on. We also did some cardio for fat loss. And then since nutrition is 90 plus percent of the job, 10 to 15 percent deficit, not more. It is especially important if you are skinny fat because you don't want to lose anything else than fat. And 10 to 15 percent deficit will maximize fat loss, also minimizes cravings, the likelihood of a binge, feeling miserable on the journey, no energy and so on. So you definitely want to do that. And we also made made sure that she was getting enough protein because, again, this helps maintain her lean body mass. And if you want to look lean and tone, you have to maintain your, like, muscle mass, okay? This is very, very key here. If there's one thing you mm, don't forget from this entire training is if you want to look lean and tone, you need your lean body mass. Weightlifting, enough protein, not too big of a deficit, okay? And basically, we kept going until we reached her dream weight. And body fat percentage, and as I said, she was her initial target was 115 and then she ended up seeing at 116 117 you know what i'm kind of good here so let's just stop there and we moved on to phase two which we were still focusing on progressive overload lifting heavier at the gym to maintain and build her figure cardio but a little bit less and focusing on daily movement instead basically making it a lifestyle you know it was a question of creating a new normal instead of having to go back to a normal lifestyle that we don't want okay We'll talk about that later, but we don't want to get to an all lifestyle, nothing to get back to, because that's what got you skinny fat or overweight in the first place. So we are creating a new normal and, you know, we are doing the reverse. The most important part of this phase is the reverse dieting process when we go from deficit to slowly up to maintenance. Still high protein and basically worked on rewiring her brain, changing her self-image, helped so much with confidence. I'm going to actually show you now how we both we use both phases okay so i'm going to show you dive a bit deeper into each of this phase knowing that the main three things that actually matter on this journey and that helped kathy so much were training nutrition consistency equals success okay so that's what we did what we focused on to for myself when i was on my car and to just create kathy's dream body as well so let's talk a little bit about the fat loss phase, specifically now the training. We are focusing on good form here, okay? We are not focusing on lifting heavy at first. We are doing progressive overload, so she got to lift heavier and heavier as she could, but this was not our main focus. It was just, she was fairly new to the gym, so we wanted to just get her comfortable, okay? We mostly used dumbbells for her because she had a busy gym, but I made sure to actually give her alternatives. So if she saw a machine that actually wasn't taken, she could use it knowing what it would work in terms of the muscles and what alternatives it was to the exercise she was familiar with as we were building that exercise database that she had. And that means that she was getting more and more comfortable around the gym, which I absolutely loved. And she was just able to get to try new things and try new equipment. And it was just getting fun for her. Okay. So we went to the gym. I mean, she got, she went to the gym two to three times per week and for 45 to 50 minutes because we didn't do the workout after that. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here. I'm a bit like hypey because I got back from a workout and got my pre-workout in. So, you know, caffeine. <laughs> anyway. We started her workout with a five to 10 minute ab session, basically. And we didn't do that, but we also finished it with a 10 to, you can finish it with a 10 to 15 minute cardio session. However, she was running a lot and she was also getting a lot of steps in enough, like around it. So we decided let's just take the cardio out. You are just going to do stretches, but that's for you at home. I wanted to add that if you don't, like cardio that much or if you don't get a lot of steps if the gym is pretty much the only type of activity that you may get during the day i really suggest that you do finish your session with 10 to 15 minutes of cardio for myself it's the stairs i have a desk job you know i well, i work a lot on my desk here so i don't get that much step in so that's why i like the stairs and i really recommend you try that but kathy was very active so she didn't really need that so we just switch it for stretches and it made her session a bit shorter which was great on top of that she was running two to three times per week and you know just because she really enjoyed it i wrote i because i also do that but she really enjoys running and 
I didn't write that here, so take notes, but we also made sure to add one sprint session during the week, basically because it helps so much with fat loss, so much with building your metabolism, and it's actually fun. So really recommend that. And if you hate all forms of cardio, what I would recommend is 8 to 10K steps every single day, not on top of the cardio. If you already do the cardio, you're good. But if you don't want to run, if you don't want to bike, swim, then I really recommend the steps instead because that will increase your needs um, and, you know, basically increase how much calories you're burning, making the deficit easier to actually, like the 10 to 15% deficit easier to target. You eat a bit more food, you still lose weight. It's overall just cardio speeds up the process, okay? But here we were really focusing on building foundation um, just so she could get started. That's pretty much what we did. Now, let's talk about nutrition. You at home are going to use the, well, I want to say any calorie calculator online, but I like the NASM body weight planner. You enter your measurements, so height and weight, and then obviously age and activity level, and it's going to give you a rough number, which is basically your maintenance. Obviously, your body is not a machine, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but it's going to be a safe um, starting spot, starting point. And then you want to use your calculator on your phone. You enter that number minus, you know, 10 to 15 percent, as we said. And that is going to be the range at which you are going to eat. So for Kathy, it was 1750 to 1850. That's basically was the range. And some days she would eat closer to 1750, other days closer to 1850, depending on if she worked out, like if she worked out that day or if she didn't, you know. So that was a great that's better to have a range within like for your calories than actually just a number to actually have to target every day um and yeah that way you don't starve yourself and you create a healthy fat loss and that's all good if you create a bigger deficit because i know some of you are you know in a rush really not recommend okay because you may lose muscle mass so you are going to end up even more skinny fat or just skinny fat and you know your body will get into survival mode and it's going to lower your metabolism so you are going to spend less energy during your workout you're going to be a bit more tired you end up not losing weight so you're going to end up um even lowering like lowering even more your deficit and it's just going to be like that downward spiral of eating less and your metabolism goes down so you have to eat even less to lose weight and so on and so on and so on don't do that take the time okay and, you know, a smaller deficit actually allows for so much more room for the fun food and going out with your friends and family, which was a non-negotiable for Kathy. All right. Now, let's talk about consistency. The first thing that we did with her was making sure that she was sleeping enough and having rest days. She used to work out six plus times per week and would sleep six hours. And I basically arrived and changed everything. I said, you are going to try to at least target seven and a half hours every night and two full rest days, okay? Because your body needs to rest and your body needs to recover and you need to heal your relationship with exercise and basically rest. So that's the first thing. But overall, you wanna focus on building healthy habits. You want consistency, you want sustainability. So definitely something you want to look for is not just focusing on nutrition and training, but on, on the other sides, like on the other stuff on the side rather. Also stress management, okay? So journaling, walk, um meditation can help as well you want to lower the stress as much as possible because too much stress which can be due to exhaustion which definitely was kathy's case can increase the cortisol levels in your body which can translate to your body holding on to fat and that's definitely not what we want so we were optimizing obviously for fat loss so we had to also do that and basically i was her accountability system you know that's that's what the coach does. That's what a coach does, okay? Accountability, making sure that, you know, checking on you, how, mu how long did you sleep, you know, how do you feel, and so on. And the entire process was pretty much one person better, okay? So we wanted to improve her life, and one person better every day meant that over the 90 days we worked together, she improved 90% her lifestyle. I mean, how cool is that? Instead of overwhelming herself and trying to do everything perfectly first try, we just focus on 1% better, a little bit every single time, and we got amazing results. Now, let's move on to the body recon phase. As I said, she was at 117 pounds and basically said, okay, I'm done. Let's go to the maintenance. Let's go back to maintenance. I don't want to lose any weight, any more weight. So 
Speaking of training, we add a bit more volume, meaning that she was still going to the gym, still doing, you know, her two to three gym workouts and actually focusing on progressive overload a bit more. So trying to lift a bit heavier every single time. What we did, so we didn't change much. What we did was just reduce the amount of cardio because she was still getting a lot of steps in. So we just took one cardio away, cardio sessions away. So she is now two full body workout, one fitness class because she has fun with her friends and then one cardio session, one run. Basically now she works for, like from the moment we started the body recom to now, she's working four times per week, okay? And that's what we did in terms of training. In terms of nutrition, let's dive a bit deeper into reverse dieting because I get this question often. What we did, so remember, I said she was 1750, 1850 in terms of deficit, which I rounded up at 1800. So first week we went to 1850. That was the minimum she was supposed to get. Then we went to 1900 and then 1950 all the way to 2050 to 20. Yeah, 2050. So what you want to do is every single week from the moment you decide, okay, I'm going to go into body recomp, add 50 calories and monitor your weight more closely. She used to just weigh herself twice per week, once per week. Once we hit the body recomp phase, I really needed her to monitor her weight closely to see how the body was reacting, you know, to eating more food. And just so what you are, what you should expect is seeing as you eat a bit more food, your weight going up and then your weight going back down. When you are going back down, when the weight is back stabilized down, you want to add the 50 calories and all the way up to maintenance, basically. And what we did basically was every, every seven days, we were able to change her calories and to up her calories. So it didn't take her that long to go through the body recom phase and quick trick and something you definitely want to do is calculate the maintenance for your new body. Okay. I know that you calculated your maintenance in the first place to do the deficit, but it makes sense. If you lose 10 plus pounds that your maintenance is going to be slightly lower because when you lose weight, when you're lighter, your body needs less energy to move a lighter body. So it makes sense that your body is going to be like your maintenance is going to be lower. So don't fall for the, I'm going to go back to what I used to it, my old maintenance, new maintenance, new body, okay? So that makes sense. And that's the process that will prevent you from gaining the weight back because you're slowly, you know, basically teaching your body that's the new normal and just let me know when we reach maintenance. Something that I know, like this is something that where, this is when a lot of people actually quit. Okay, this is when a lot of people say, okay, I've reached my dream body, like I've reached my weight goal, let's just stop there, I'm going to go back to my old lifestyle. When you do that, you gain the weight back, okay? When you do that, you are basically going back to the lifestyle that got you skinny, fat, fat, overweight, you know, however you want to call it, in the first place. And that's why you yo-yo diet, because you don't have the patience to do that body recomp phase. That's one of my mistakes. That's something I used to do too. You know, that's what, that's where the yo-yo dieting is coming from. You have to go through that body recomp phase and bonus point when you do that. So it, during that phase, since you are still in the deficit, lower, def- like smaller deficit, but still in the deficit, you may still lose some fat. And that's what happened to Kathy. Exhibit A. I think it was two to three weeks into the body recomp phase. She texting me. How am I losing weight and eating more? I only did two workouts this week. She basically went to 114 pounds. She got to her weight goal and then some, okay? And that was absolutely amazing to see. That's how you get the process to be done without harming your metabolism because you are able to still lose fat even when you're eating more. So she had kept her lean body mass. So her maintenance was even higher than, you know, what she may previously have expected when we may have previously expected so she had a high metabolism so she could eat more food and still lose weight that was amazing without killing herself to the at the gym as you see only to work out this week okay so as you can see here you have again another screenshot of her weight and you can see so the two falling down and then you've got the maintenance phase and then it went back down again to 114 pounds and now she is fluctuating as she should we're women we are going to fluctuate in weight between 114 to 116. That's basically the range she's at and her body's comfortable there. And that's amazing to see. 
we didn't change much in terms of consistency. We still focused on, you know, sleeping and recovery. So one to two full rest days, stress management, 1% better. And the goal here was just to build a new normal, build her new lifestyle for her new body, okay? So it wasn't a quick fix that destroyed her metabolism. Like this entire process wasn't a quick fix. It was something that would prevent her from yo-yo dieting afterwards, you know? The goal here is to have that new normal, no old lifestyle, no old diet to get back to new normal so you don't have to change much. You may just eat a bit more and work out a bit less. But you're still working out and you're still, you know, making sure you eat enough protein. And then we slowly got her off tracking, obviously. My method here is the playbook for you if you feel like you've tried everything but nothing works. You know, you get rid of all the fat, the excess fat, especially on her, like around your waist, as you've seen with Kathy. And, you know, you basically get to sculpt your dream body and become the best version of yourself while also reprogramming your mind, getting through your limiting beliefs, showing yourself that you're someone who falls through and does the things they said they do. And, you know, just teaching your body, okay, this is the new weight, this is the new body, we're staying there. And actually being able to do that, make sure that you don't gain the weight back right after. And all the while having an enjoyable process. That's what my method is all about, you know. And when you start making progress with your physique, you will inevitably see improvement in other areas of your life. She told me, for example, her confidence skyrocketed because at work she was getting compliments from her like co-workers, just telling her that she looked amazing, that she looked great, that she had so much confidence, like basically that she was radiating. Again, a word she actually used. Same for her relationship. Her fiance, fiance, almost husband, just also obviously noticed and told her, my God, you look amazing or gorgeous, you know, and you, you just... And she was feeling amazing as well. And so she showed up in a different way at work, you know, more focused and just having that confidence and that self-esteem, amazing to see. Like, I feel like I have been, like, Kathy from the start and Kathy from at the end are very two different women, okay? You can see the confidence now. And, you know, when you start making progress with your physique, this, it's just all starts from your body, okay? You know, as I said, you'll see it, Ripple effect, job, studies, relationship, confidence, self-esteem, how you show up for other people, how you show up for yourself, all starting from your body and you taking care of your body and you making the changes for your body. So now that you understand how this process works exactly, I have an offer for you. If you're overweight, if you're skinny fat and just tired of living in the body that you're in right now, and you know, you're looking to lose the weight and lose the fat for good, to finally get your dream body and become a person that you are proud of, right? And just basically have the healthiest, tonest, and most amazing body that you ever had, I will help you transform your body, you know, from skinny fat or even overweight, because I did it, to lean and tone. Lose the fat within the next 70 days without giving up on your favorite food, without spending hours at the gym, without having to hide from people and not going out anymore. And obviously, without getting the weight back right after the process is over. And if it doesn't work, if you follow the entire process and it doesn't work, you don't see the results you want, I will refund you in full. This is how confident I am in my method. I know I can do amazing, amazing things uh, with this process and completely transform your life and your body. So if you're interested, book a call with me down below. We'll see if you're the right fit because I don't work with everybody. We'll see how I can help and then we will just get you started. And that's pretty much it for today. A lot of value. Again, feel free to, you know, watch again, process it maybe before that, process a little bit what you've learned and then just watch again and see how much you've, because you can't get everything in the first try. So see how much you've missed. And again, take some more notes and apply every, like apply everything to your life and you will see amazing results in such a short amount of time. So proud of Kathy. She did amazing. I mean, look at her transformation. Um, Just, just, amazing two different women she's so confident now i love how toned she looked like definition on her abs she's got like her waist shrinked so excited um and she's ready for her wedding ready for her trip to europe and yeah so as i said pretty much it for today if you have any questions drop them in the comment section and you know, like subscribe share comment all that good stuff and i'll see you in the next one bye